I discovered driving Formula 3 cars gives me one really bad habit for drifting. Because I've been challenged by Daigo Sato to attend a battle in Japan, I decided it would be a good idea to hire a coach to give me the basics in the simulator before I go, and we immediately noticed I have a pretty bad habit from road course driving. It all has to do with braking. Reese explained to me that there are three different ways to initiate a drift, either with rate transfer, which doesn't really affect speed too much, or a clutch kick, which does increase acceleration temporarily, or finally a handbrake, which slows you down, which is needed for most slow speed entries. Obviously, we don't have a handbrake in an F3 car, so any and all speed adjustments are done with the foot brake, which controls all four tires. A handbrake only controls the rear brake, so pulling it generally makes the car turn more. And because I've never had a handbrake before, I just don't have the muscle memory to reach for it when I need it, so I always default to the foot brake. The problem with that is that a foot brake locks the front tires before the rears generally so it can generate understeer, which is exactly what you don't want in drifting. Be sure to follow for the full video.